So this is a picture of the muscles in your neck. You're looking at yourself from behind. So this is the back of your head right here. And then these are the muscles in your neck. So all of the muscles in your neck originate from that spot at the base of your skull. And they run to the vertebrae in your neck. They run alongside the vertebrae in your neck or they run alongside the vertebrae in your neck to your shoulder blade. So when we're talking about all of that muscle tension, when those muscles get tight, they shorten and they close that space in between the vertebrae. So this space gets closed down as those muscles pull inward. That's what creates that long term, that pressure on the disc, that pressure on the nerve, and starts to make the problem get worse. But it all starts with that muscle tension. All of those muscles originate from the base of your skull. When those muscles get tight, they pull down, and that's what causes that headache that you feel. And then that pressure down is what starts to create the potential for that crick in your neck, the radiating pain down your arm, and all of those symptoms that get worse. How can therapy help you with all of this? Well, the number one thing is we're going to be able to really assess and figure out what is causing those symptoms that you're having. More importantly, stop it where it in its tracks, keep it from progressing and getting worse. In most cases, it's gotten to a point where we need to do some manual things, some manual therapy to try to increase that space in between the vertebrae. Get the vertebrae further apart so that they stop pinching against each other. Get the pressure off of the disc and off of the nerves so that the symptoms come. Manually, passively stretch those muscles in your neck so that they are truly longer. And then the final thing would be working on strengthening all of the muscles that run from the base of your skull all the way down your spine to about mid-back and getting those muscles to be stronger so that they hold your head. Your head is about a 10 pound ball that sits on top of your shoulders all day long. And if I asked you to hold a 10 pound weight all day long, probably wouldn't make it through the day holding that weight. The same is true with your head. The stronger those muscles are, will really help that everything in your neck to be more conditioned and stronger so that that pressure doesn't develop. Give us a call, click on the link below, we'll get you in, we'll get it figured out, we'll get you taken care of, and we will keep this from turning into a much bigger problem